And welcome back again to Freddy's Little Farm. Uh, recently I did... <laughs> it, oh, if only I knew. Uh, I just found another map mod called Westby, Wisconsin. Um, there should be a video just before this video that I'm going to upload, uh, talk about a little bit. <laughs> I was seriously thinking about abandoning abandoning all this and going to that map, but uh, there is something, it is a nice map, but there's something kind of special about uh, No Man's Map. I, I, I love the that there's just nothing at all out here and you have to build everything from scratch. So I, I kind of like the, the simplicity of this map. and. I don't want to give up yet. We're not bankrupt yet. Anyway, the last episode we got all our crops in. And cows are doing pretty good. I, I got to keep a close eye on this. I don't want to feed them any more hay. I want to let this trickle down as much as possible. So when I switch over to TMR, I got plenty of room for it. So we're good there. Uh, next thing I'd like to do... I got some uh, grass to harvest and I can blow up into the silage, but before I can do that, I need to buy the equipment for it. And uh, let's see, how are we doing with the bank loan here first? So I really hate to lease that stuff. Well, we only got a $200,000 loan if the equipment don't cost too much. Let's see, I think I need, I already got the extra tractor. Um, I'm going to need, where is the blower? Yeah, there it is. Ooh. So I need the blower. Uh, I need the wagon. Oh, the wagon ain't too bad. And I need the chopper. Almost got to take out. Oh, we're going to be pushing that three hundred thousand dollar mark before we're. <laughs> uh, it just keeps adding up. Keeps adding up. Hopefully these cows start making some milk pretty soon. Alrighty, I'm going to head into town, and I'm going to at least get the hay bine. Um, I wonder. I wonder if I shouldn't give that another month to fully mature. It just doesn't look fully mature yet to me. I'm going to take a chance. I'm going to give that a month and then I'm going to go get a hay bind. Back with you in a few. <sighs> yeah, I really he hate to keep borrowing money like this. <laughs> I guess we're either going to go bust or, or make it. I don't know. <laughs> Let's go talk to Amanda. I'm running out of money, girl. I gotta start making some money doing something here. Alright. Well, the haybine, that's not too bad. We've seen this haybine before. It's a good haybine. I probably should have just bought it to begin with. I think once I start get, uh, uh, getting some cows, because uh, the cows got to reproduce to make milk. And when them all reproduce, I'll have 80 cows instead of 40, eventually. And once they start making some milk, and once I start getting a little money, I was toying with the idea of putting up a small dairy for production, maybe make some butter and cheese, get a little more profit out of my milk. That might be an option. Um, there's a, a spot over here that just looks like a nice spot to put a, a building, you know. Over, I'll show you here in just a second. Just to the left here. I might buy this little chunk of land here to the left. And I just, it looks like a nice spot to put a little dairy, dairy production. But that's way, way in the future. Anyway, I'm going to go cut some grass. Probably borrow a little more money. And, I mean, that's the way it was in real life. I mean, just seems like you're always in debt and just barely squeezing by so I think this is about as real as it's gonna get as far as game virtual game wise so 
Yeah, I'm gonna cut some grass and uh, get it up in the silo. Nothing new here, you've all seen me cut hay before. We're just gonna cut this whole strip, although we should get a lot more yield out of this. It, it's a small field, but it's a planted grass field that's been fertilized, so we'll get a lot more yield out of this. So back with you when I get it all cut and we buy the new chopper and, and then the blower and we'll get it all in the silo. And we are done cutting the grass. Unfortunately I can't afford a new machine shed right now so this stuff will have to sit outside. Let's see, I think we can park it all along in here, make a nice line of machinery. Why not? Let's see, I think I'll park this over here by the river or by the pond here. It'll just have to do for now. Okay, let's go get the rest of the equipment we need. And we need this to get it up in the silo. Bye bye money. <laughs> have to borrow some more to get the get the chopper. I think we can hook the Alice Chalmers to this, that little WD-45, and I think this will be enough to uh, run it in the game. In real life, um, at what the heck? What is with... Why does this keep connecting on some equipment? Why does this keep connecting to the upper hitch rather than the lower hitch? Can we make it attach to the... Well, we just got to get this back. I hope it doesn't do that on the Alice. Otherwise it's not going to work. Yeah, just certain things. I don't know if it's the tractor or the equipment. But you, you run into things like that when you start using mods. Little glitches, things don't quite work right. It's just part of the part of the game. Well, I hope this I hope it hooks to this little Alice okay. And hopefully it'll run it. <laughs> Otherwise I don't know what I'm going to do. Ah. Yeah, that hooks correctly. Now can it run it? <laughs> okay, just like in real life, the silo blower goes... You line it up with the chute here, this little white tube. Uh, this you gotta be pretty precise. You gotta get her lined up pretty good for it to work properly. You could line it up about like that and it will work, but I want to get it so it looks nice. So we're gonna you know, maneuver it around just right. Oh, we're getting close. Let's give it just a little bit more. Just a tick more. Look at that, we got it perfect. Or as perfect as it's gonna get. That part should be ready to go. Now let's go borrow some more money from the bank. Um not sure how much more I should borrow here. Um, let's go to 275. Yeah, ouchie, ouchie, ouchie. Hopefully it's enough to. I really don't want to borrow any more, but I don't have any choice. Well, I could lease it, but I'm getting sick of leasing stuff. I want to own it eventually. It's just going to take longer to pay it off. 
I think once I start getting some milk rolling in, I, I think it'll, it'll be alright, because once I have everything I need, it's just, uh, you know, just keep doing it and pay it off. The prices on some of this stuff could be adjusted a little better. Um, like, I prefer the Gale chopper boxes, but because they do hold a little teeny bit more and they look a little nicer, but $22,000, ouch. But I did find a New Holland chopper box, which is more reasonably placed. It, doesn't ho it holds a little bit less, but that's not a bad looking chopper box. So I guess we're going with the cheap one, cheaper one. Plus it matches my chopper that I'm getting. Now we got the chopper box. I did find, oh, I do got a couple of choices for choppers. Um, this one's a bit cheaper, but it's that icky green color. I can't, I just can't. I can't buy John Deere. I'm not John Deere. I'm sorry. Not going to happen. <laughs> uh, there was another cheaper chopper here that I was toying with, but where is it? Come on. Getting so many mo Oh, there we go. This is a, like a weird... Uh, I could, but man, I really want that New Holland chopper. I really do. But... Uh, I, know, I mean, I'm going to end up with it eventually. Yeah, I, I, I really want this. Just the price is just a little too high, boy. I don't know why they gotta make that so expensive. <sighs> I'm I'm getting it. <laughs> it's gonna hurt, but I'm getting it. I don't need the corn hitter right now, so I'll just get just the hay hitter. It's just gonna hurt for a while. That's all. I think we can still pull it off. If he can't, well, I'll just declare bankruptcy and I'll start a new game on the Westby map. <laughs> Let's see, I'm just going to drive all the way around. Sometimes that header can be a little hard to hook up. Let's see, let's get it unfolded. That'll make it a little easier. I like this chopper because well, back in the good old days in real life, I actually used a chopper very, very identical to this. Ooh, I might be getting a little close there. There we go. There, we got that on. No, no, come on. Let's go pick up some grass and get it in the silo to make some silage. Yeah, I really like this chopper. Uh, another reason I like it, it's got a nice wide uh, hay head. So I don't have to rake the grass, I can just pick it up. Oh yeah, working real nice so far. Might be working that 1455 a little bit. It'll have to do for now though. I think I think she can handle it. It's going a little slow. But doing what it needs to do. Oh, I hit a rock. Hope I didn't damage the rims too much. <laughs> that rock is just a little too close. I really wish it wasn't there. I'll have to pick up the rest of that later. Oh, we're 
we're moving along pretty good. Back with you when I got a full load. It's gonna take a while to pick all this up. Hmm. Might have to get a bigger tractor. <laughs> she definitely struggles on this hill a little bit. Let's see, I think I'll leave that strip up here to get that picked up. I think I'll come back down the hill. Yeah, that chopper might be just a little bit too big for that old girl. Let's see. Definitely struggles a little bit. Yeah, I mean, it's a pretty decent sized tractor. You wouldn't think it would struggle that much, but yeah, she's she's struggling a little bit. <laughs> it's a pretty good sized chopper though, too. Still. It'll, it'll have to do for now. It's going to be a, be a little while before I can upgrade to a little bit bigger tractor. I never did check to see how much horsepower that chopper required. Maybe I should do that quick. Maybe I'm pushing her too far. This tractor's 180 horsepower. I thought it'd be more than enough. Oh yeah, we got her. <laughs> yeah, the tractor's 180 and that chopper, yeah, we got her right to the limit. No wonder why she's struggling. <laughs> Poor tractor. Okay, that explains it. <laughs> yeah, we got her right to the max. I, as long as we're on nice level ground here, she seems to go kind of okay. But yeah, as soon as I try to climb that little hill back there, she just... Ugh. Yeah, and then it's trying to pull that big heavy chopper box behind us, too. I might have to empty that before it gets too full. Oh, there, we're picking up some speed. Yeah, it's just going to be a little bit of a struggle until I can get a little bit bigger tractor. Can't complain too much. I mean, this poor little tractor, she's, uh, she's been doing her, well, she's been doing all the work, basically. <laughs> it's the only tractor we got. <laughs> We'll get there, we'll get there. Huh. Got a little bit of clipping through that uh, chopper box. Yeah, uh, this is going to be a little bit of a struggle here unless I decide to get a little bit bigger tractor. Let's see. Uh, no, not that one. That one. There we go. Oh yeah, this is all too familiar when I was chopping by myself. Unhooking and hooking and un unhooking the chopper to pull the chopper box to the silo. Pretty much all you eat, pretty much the only way you could do it when you was by yourself, unless you had somebody to come pull boxes for you. Let's see how this works out today. See if I'm quick I think I can start unloading, hop off, hop in the Alice and start the blower. Yeah you gotta have the the tractor that's hooked to the blower. You gotta have that running or this won't work. There we go. And yes, are we? Yeah, there we go. Grass is growing in the silo. See the numbers going up? Ah, uh, yes. The hours I spent on loading chopper boxes. <laughs> I think they got the timing about right on this too. It, it, uh, uh, 
I know so, uh, sometimes they, they do that in games, they just make it so it unloads real quick, but no, it, it took a little while to unload that chopper box, so it wasn't just, oh, unload it right now. You had to, if you uh, tried to unload it too fast, you, you would plug this blower or plug the pipe, and that was a pain in the butt. I don't know how many times I had to unplug that pipe blowing up there. Unhook it and shake it, bang on it, trying to get it to unplug. So you don't want to unload too fast. The yeah, Alice seems to be handling the blower okay. <laughs> I think you can pretty much hook any tractor to this blower and the game will accept it. But in real life, that little WD-40 probably wouldn't be enough for that big blower. You need you need a pretty hefty tractor with uh, a good high RPM PTO. Otherwise, you're going to plug a lot. So, But eh, it's all I got in the game and it's what I'm going to use. So it works. Till the silos. Ooh, we're empty. That was quick. On to the next load. Yeah, I remember doing this a lot, hooking and unhooking. Uh, the cool trick that I did with uh, the chopper I was using, I got sick of getting off the tractor to unhook it. So what I did in real life on my chopper, I put a, a pole here, and on top of that pole I had a little pulley with a rope hooked to the pin, and then the rope ran to another little pole here with a rope that ran into the into the tractor so I could at least unhook the wagon on the go. All I had to do was pull that rope and it would pull the pin. It was a pretty good setup back in the day. I still had to get off though to hook it hook hook it back up, but at least I could unhook it without uh, having to get out of the cab. Alrighty, well I'm gonna be at this for a little while and this tractor struggles pretty good on that hill so I'll have to do it one way. So be back with you when I get a get some more done here. I'm going to try something here quick. Um, uh, it doesn't, it's not quite ready for a tune-up yet, but the maintenance is down a little bit. I wonder if I give it full a full repair, if that'll help with the horsey powers a little bit. Sometimes that does, sometimes it don't. Let's see what, what that does. Might help a little bit. Yeah, she's really struggling. I don't remember that struggling that much, because I've used this combination before. When I started out, why is there still a glitch? Maybe it's the wagon, because when I was running it before, I had a gale chopper box. Maybe that gale or that New Holland box is. Yeah, it looks. <laughs> what the heck is going on here? It looks full, but it's not full. It's only one percent. I'm thinking that might be part of the problem. It's regist the game is registering the box as fully loaded with weight and it's not. I think that might be the problem. Yeah, cuz I can freaking Oh, there it goes. Yeah, I was trying to move before. Maybe it was the maintenance. Yeah, I was trying to climb this hill and it would hardly move. I don't mind a little bit of a struggle, you know, going up the hill, you know, you got to have some realism, but when you're only going like one, two miles per hour, that's getting a little ridiculous. But, uh, yeah, she's really struggling. You can hear it in the RPMs. Downhill, she doesn't have no issues. I'll keep trying it. I think I think we can get it done. It might be a little bit of a struggle, but I, I think I can get it done. I gotta at least hold off until the cows start making a little bit of milk so I get some income coming before I even consider buying a tractor with a few more ponies in it. 
See, I'm going to try to get a little bit of a run going uphill here. I think I can make it if I take a running. There we go. Rather than a dead stop, I think that helps a lot. Yeah, if I can keep this pace going, it's doable. I think we'll be all right. Oh, oh there she's starting to. Yeah, as soon as I hit that, <laughs> that crest of the hill, there she just. <laughs> As long as it keeps moving, we'll be okay. The game's not totally wrong. I mean, you fill that chopper box, that's a lot of weight. I mean, you're talking six, seven tons. So, and they're heavy. Yeah, you need a pretty decent sized tractor when it comes to chopping silage. It's, cause it's, it, like I say, it, it is heavy. I think there might be something wrong with this chopper box. It's not quite right. Uh, my load is only 95% and it's not filling anymore. I'm, I'm thinking there's something wrong with this chopper box. It, it kind of works, but it ain't working right. What I might do... I don't consider this cheating. Um... What I might do, because I know them, them other chopper boxes work. What, what did I pay for this? $4,000? What I think I'll do, I might sell this chopper box. And where is the gale? Yeah, this, this chopper box works really good. I've used it before. But instead of paying $22,000 for it, I'll pay like, I'll make it a little more fair. I'll pay like 8000 or something for it. Because I know these boxes work good. Because there's definitely something's not quite right with this chopper box. It's not working right. Just something goofy going on with it. I don't think it's registering the weights right. And it's not filling correctly. It's a little glitchy. Something ain't right. Let me get this emptied. And I'll purchase that Gale chopper box. We'll see if that works a little better. Because I know I used this setup before. And it worked a heck of a lot better than this. So something's not registering quite right or something. Something ain't right anyway. They got that part right though, the, the animation and stuff looks good. I don't know, something just ain't acting right though, trying to pull it and fill it. And why can I only fill it 95% full? I don't know, we'll see. I'm definitely going to get that Gale chopper box to see if it makes a difference. Okay, yeah, I'm going to take a mental note. I got about $6,448, so by the time I'm done, I'm going to try to... I'm trying real hard not to cheat, but I'm also trying to keep it fair. And the price for these chopper boxes is nowhere near fair. I paid 4000 for the, the other one. So, but it's not quite working right I'm going to lose a little money there, so I'm going to sell that one. Okay. So I'm going to need... If I cheat in... So I want to... When I'm done, I want about 9000 A little over $9,000. But we need the money for... Let's add... Let's add 12,000, see if that'll get us enough for the... Oh, not quite enough. I need a little bit more. Well, then i got to make up the difference for for what I owe here. Well, i got to lose a little money. Let's add a little bit more. Let's add another 5,000. Okay, now let's buy that 
other chopper box. Yeah, these 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 seem to work a little better. Okay, now how much money do I have? Four thousand. I had like six thousand at least. But then I said I was gonna pay a little bit more for this nicer box. Uh, I think I'll let that slide. That that seems kind of fair. We'll just say we paid about six thousand for this box. Does that sound about fair? If not, well. Again, it's my game, I make the rules. <laughs> as long as this box works a little better. I've used this box before and it works really well. Uh, the only thing it does, it must be a, a glitch that's really hard to get rid of, is this one also. The silage will clip through the roof a little bit when, you get, when you're full. So that must be a real hard glitch to get rid of. At least the, it fills properly and it's not too hard to pull. We'll see if this works a little better. Yeah, this one feels like it's uh, it's pulling like it makes more sense. Like right now the wagon's kind of empty. It, it's pulling more freely. I can totally understand the tractor struggling when it's when it's full. But the other one was pulling hard when it was only like at 10% already. Yeah, this one's pulling a lot better or it's making more sense see like right now I'm only 20% and it's going up this hill with no problems at all it struggles a little teeny bit when it gets towards the top of the hill here but it it, it feels like the the weight part of it makes more sense there was definitely something a little off about that other wagon yeah see I'm struggling a little bit here but at least it ain't stopping that makes more sense to me How's the animation? Yeah, see in the wagon, it's not full full. It, it looks like it's about half full, which makes more sense. So yeah, that other, that New Holland wagon, whoever made that mod's going to have to do a little, little touch up on that one. Yeah, this one's working a lot better. Yeah, this this looks a lot makes a lot more sense. Yeah, I remember the other one I was just barely moving along at four or five miles an hour going downhill sometimes. At least this one's it feels more correct. <laughs> like it's doing what it's supposed to do. Yeah, at least this wagon I can fill it to 99%. <laughs> yeah, this one clips through the roof pretty good too. I don't know why that's such an issue. But as long as it get, gets the weight distribute uh, the weight part of it right, it's it's definitely better than that new Holland wagon. I'm not picking on the modder that, that made it. I, I totally get it. I know it's very, very hard to to program that stuff to, to make it right. I mean, I wouldn't even know where to begin on some of that. You know, to get something so it works the way it's supposed to. All I know is this, this wagon definitely works a little better than that New Holland. Load up, boys. Oh yeah, even the animation is much better. See how it's slowly... So we got a little better wagon. Yeah, see how the it slowly goes down? This, this makes a lot more sense instead of a big blob and then all of a sudden it disappears. Yeah, this this has got quite a bit better animation. The only the only uh, thing I don't like about this mod is the price is way too high. Twenty two thousand dollars for a for a chopper box is way too much, especially for that time period. 
I could see maybe nine or ten thousand dollars for a brand new wagon. That that makes a little more sense. But yeah, twenty-two thousand. That's that's way overpriced. And four thousand dollars for the new Holland. That's that's almost a little too cheap. A used one would go for that back in the day. That you know, but not a new one. So, but that's just my opinion. Yeah, this one this one works real good, but it's overpriced. And the new Holland doesn't work very good but it's underpriced <laughs> mm. this chopper was a little high too this chopper was almost forty thousand dollars that was a little high Yeah, I'm getting pretty good yield off of this. That silo's filling up real nice. Ah, nothing like a nice clean cut and picked up hayfield. Let's go see how much silage we actually got put up in there. We got some pretty good yield off this field, so it should be pretty good, I would think. Let's see, let's go park this. We're done with this. Should be able to get, uh, for sure, a second crop off, I'm guessing, in July or August. And... Maybe even possibly a third crop in October. So we should get plenty of grass off that small field. Well, until I can afford a machine shed. So just have to get parked here for now. Last load to unload. Let's see, how much did we actually get in there? Ah, that's not bad. We got it a quarter full. That silo will hold, I believe, 450,000. Uh, that same silo, don't ask me how that works, <laughs> but uh, that, that same silo is also where you put the chaff. Um, you could... Depending on how you want to play it, you could put chaff or grass in this silo also, but then you'd have no place to put the corn. This is the only silo that'll accept the the corn if you decide to do the 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 corn mixed ration. So just keep that in mind. So, yeah, once we get some chaff, we'll be able to get some mixed rations mixed up here pretty quick. Okay, let's see. Well, the next step is, I think, uh, we've got quite a bit of slurry here. And if I remember correctly, every time you harvest some grass, I think it goes down a stage on the fertilizer. Come on. Yeah, I think we got enough uh, slurry to get this turned back to nice dark blue again. Let's see, what a, I'll have to go look and see what we got for slurry spreaders here. We ain't going to get no manure until we get some straw, but we'll definitely take advantage of the slurry. So let me park this and we'll go look at some slurry tanks. Huh. Well, the cheapest stock in-game one I can find is $22,000 and it's like ugh, I just don't want to pay that much money just for a small slurry tank so I uh, did some searching online for some cheaper alternatives and uh, this this looks pretty decent I kind of like the looks of this little guy at least the, the price is a little more uh, reasonable hmm. Yuck. Yeah, we'll go standard rim color. Can we get dark red? No, we can't. What was the other colors? Brown? 
Eh, that's even worse. I like blue. Uh, back to the bank again. Never enough money. Boy, I don't know if we're going to make this or not. Man, it just... Well, let's go to three. I hate to keep doing that, but ugh, it just, just seems like that just keeps going up and up and up and up. Gotta spend money to make money, though. Right? Oh, it's still cheaper than $22,000, so I ain't quite so bad. This is a mod, I, another mod I haven't tested, so hopefully it works. Yeah, looks okay so far. Back to the farm! Alrighty. Here's where we load it. Now if you want, you could just go right to the icon and start filling. But if you want a little more realism, I, I love this feature. You can uh, show or uh, not show the pump. There, see how that pops up? You just click it. Blink. There's the pump. Let's get some poop. Yeah, we need poop. <laughs> he caught the shit poop. <laughs> Refill the poop. Good poop. Yeah. Ooh, a little heavy, are we? Come on, you can do it. I think we better go start from the top of the hill and work our way down. Get this adjusted accordingly. Boy, it doesn't have a very wide spread. Come on, you can pull it. Come on. Yeah, as soon as we start making a little bit of money, we definitely got to get just a little bit bigger tractor. There we go. Get some poopy on the field. Spread some poopy. Poopy's good. Poopy makes the grass grow. Let's see, check the map, see how it's doing here. Should go from... There we go. Turns from light blue to dark blue. That's what you want. Anytime you plant anything, you want a nice dark blue. Yeah. Oh, so close! Almost had enough poopy to cover the whole field. Um, but we can add a little bit more later. Calves didn't quite produce enough, but we can add a, a little more after. You can add 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 fertilizer to grass anytime. But pretty darn close. Well, I would say we did pretty darn good today. Let's see. Let's put the the poopy pump away. Come on. I want this. There we go. Park this here for now. I'd say we did pretty darn good for the day. And the video is probably getting long enough already. So, yeah. I think we call it a day. We got the grass up in the silo and got some poopy spread today. It was a good day. How's the crops doing out here? Oh yeah, I'm starting to see some sprouting going on. Got some corn over here popping up. Looks good, looks good, yeah. Fertilized 100%. Yield bonus 97%. We should have some good crops coming here. Let's see how's the oats looking. 
Boats are looking good. Yep, 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 yep. All good. All right. Okay. How about the soybeans? I'll give a quick look at those babies. I can't wait to harvest this. I'm so looking forward to that. Oh, yeah. Soybeans are coming up nice. So, yeah. It's all going good, except we keep going more and more into debt. But hopefully we get some milk here pretty soon. I think we got, what, uh... How many more months we got to go here? 18, uh, halfway there. We got to wait, wait another nine months yet. I think it's 18 months. Yeah. Right here. This is a calf. Animals that are healthy and older than 18 months can reproduce. So, and I don't think we get any milk until they reproduce. So, we got a little bit of a wait yet, unfortunately. But, until next time, we will say goodbye for now. Moo Moo Cows. Hey, what's this? No, I don't want no horns on my cattle. I always dehorn I always dehorn my cattle. You don't want to get one of them stuck in your guts. <laughs> what the heck? I got some dehorning to do here. Can't have horns. Come on. Yeah, after oh what was it? Around that three or four months I always dehorn my calves and then I didn't have to worry about horns. So Alrighty, till next time. I'm out of here. Bye for now.